All right, so your dog is barking. Well, there's lots of different reasons why dogs bark because it's for them a form of communication, of course. So dogs bark when they're happy. Dogs bark when they're bored. Dogs bark when the territorial uh, protection, protection of their territory, something comes near that they don't want. Maybe they see a squirrel going up the tree, they bark at it. Uh, could be fear. Maybe they're looking out the window and they're afraid of per people walking by or other dogs. They bark at it. Could be aggressive or kind of scared. Um, maybe they're startled. All of a sudden, they, you wake them up and they bark because they kind of got this shock and they're not sure what just happened and they bark. So there's lots of different reasons for barking. But the reason, the real reason people would watch this video is because they want some of the barking to stop. You can't always help a dog from barking. Sometimes they're just happy and it's just their way of you know, when I take Dakota out for a walk, she barks because she's super excited. She's going for a little walk. I tried to sometimes, it's okay, right? Kind of calm her down. She calms down, but she knows that it's too much. Um, but you often just have uh, a reason why your dog is barking um, and you want it to stop because it's annoying you. You really need to have the dog to uh, stop the barking. So why does a dog bark? Well, usually the ones that want the dog to stop uh, the barking is because they're like in the house barking all day long or they're in the backyard barking all day long. Well, why are they barking? And you have to be honest with yourself because often it's because of lack of attention. We are leaving them out um, in the yard for the whole day when you're not at work or when you are at work. Um, there are people that leave them outside all the time and they bark all day and sometimes all night or when they, uh, a squirrel comes by, they bark, and it's just non-stop barking. And people and neighbors sometimes get a bit agitated because your dog is always barking. So that means you have to spend more time with your dog because it's it's bored. It just doesn't know what else to do with itself. So it's just barking because they're it, they're bored. So you got to give them something to do. So this could be certain toys, ideally, of course. You have to spend more time with your dog because they they're agitated they, they just have to get something out of their system so if that's the reason they're bored they have to be you know maybe it's a maybe you need to get a buddy for them sometimes a dog needs a playmate so they can interact with each other and don't be so bored so sometimes you need to get a playmate if that's obviously possible the other option is, of course, spend more time with your dog because they love feedback from us. They love to spend time with us, but not everybody can be home all day long and spend time with them. Now, I'm not saying that every dog needs constant attention from us. There are just times where they just really need some attention from us and we should give it to them. Otherwise, they get into trouble and they will lose respect and the whole seven principles again start to crumbling down. So that's really one of the main reasons why dogs bark. Um, there are other situations where it's not a boredom or a lack of social attention um, necessarily from you, but um, maybe somebody um, comes in the door and the dog starts barking. It happens. I've seen it before where a dog is just afraid of, of new people coming in the house or something. Um, so it can be that the dog barks at everybody that comes in their, in their house, could, their territory could be outside. Um, or when you go to uh, go have a walk and people come near, they bark at them because usually it's a, a sign of, of, of being afraid of some fear. So how do you get them over that? Because you kind of feel like, okay, stop it, right? You don't know what else to do. The dog's just barking. You pull them back and, hey, stop it, shh, quiet. Uh, but that doesn't seem to help. So how do we get your dog to stop barking? Well, this is usually the tough one because you have to give your dog more and more exposure to new things, which means you got to take your dog almost everywhere if it's allowed or possible to expose them to lots of different things. Um, and, and of course, you, you want to go to the dog park, you want to go see people, you want to walk around a lot because often dogs start to bark because they're a bit afraid and often they don't get enough exercise. They're boxed up, they're bored, they start barking at everything that walks by at the front window or at the back, everything that moves, um, they, they're afraid. You know, every, everybody knows um, some dog down the street that when you walk by the house, they just bark at you. They, they press their nose against the window and you're just so afraid that if that window wasn't there, they'd be just attacking you. At least that's what you think they may do. But usually those dogs are actually afraid of us. So their response is, afraid they just bark and don't really know how to respond they they're not socialized enough with other people with other dogs 
they don't go out very often so it may not be the lack of social attention which they may get from their owner they just don't get enough exercise so that could be a reason as well so hopefully we covered most of the stuff uh, that can t uh, give you the reason why dogs bark and uh, hopefully that will help you to make them stop barking we'll see you in the next video